Hello, and welcome to a series of videos on the model-driven CLI, which is being introduced in release 16.0.01. This video introduces the new compare command, which can be run in configuration mode, but can also be used with a flat, full context, lines or the summary option. If we enter a compare command in the configuration mode, by default, the command shows the differences between the running and candidate data store, using the running configuration as the reference. The empty return shows us that no new configuration is present in the candidate. Next, we add some configuration to the candidate data store. The plus sign shows the configuration added to the candidate data store, that is not in the running data store. We can also compare the candidate to the running configuration, using the candidate configuration as the reference. The compare command can be used to display the configuration in a flat format, or a full context format, and can be run in any working context. We can use either format to copy and paste configuration statements. Copying a command with a preceding minus sign deletes the configuration. When we copy and paste a command with braces, the present working context is maintained. Next, we use the full context option from the root context. We copy a command with the preceding plus sign, without the closing brace. The plus sign is ignored, and without the closing brace, the present working context changes. In our next example, we change a metric of a routing protocol, and use the compare command to show the change. We can also use the lines option with the number, to show the lines of configuration, before and after the changed element. This is useful to display extra configuration of a container. Let's change the admin state to disable, and see the extra lines after the change. The lines option can also be used with the flat and full context, options of the compare command. Next, we use the compare command with the summary option. First, we delete the level 2 configuration. The compare command output is now suppressed, and the differences are replaced with a tilde character. Any deletion is also suppressed, to its highest container, and is shown with three dots in braces. This brings us to the end of this video. Please watch additional videos, or read the documentation for more information on the model-driven CLI.